Good afternoon to our Denton ISD students, teachers, faculty, staff, and parents. Um, all I can tell you is this has been the most incredible um, journey any of us have been on with regard to planning the upcoming school year and, and trying to keep you all informed as to as to what's going on. I, I just want to let you know that that we're in partnership with our local officials from the Denton County um, and Denton County Health Services, and we are working closely together. Uh, to, to make sure that we stay on top of the rise in cases and the transmissions across our community. And um, it's imperative that each and every one of us take these safety precautions in place. Um, number one, please wear your masks. Number two, practice social distancing. Number three, really have personal hygiene and, and keeping things clean. And then lastly, um, please do your very best to, to avoid large gatherings. I ask you to do those things so that we can really work hard to have um, in-person, face-to-face learning during the coming school year. Um, it's gonna be incumbent upon everyone in our community to really own whether or not and how long we get to have face-to-face -face learning in our schools. Um, for that reason, I, I wanna talk to you about a couple things about our Connected Learning Program. Um, during the last few days, um, you received an email with the SNAP code um, from InfoSnap and I really need for you to go in and, and complete your registration information, um, either as a new student or as a returning student. You can also go to www.dentonisd.org forward slash back to school to talk about and look at what our back to school options are for you. If you need any help, you can call your child's campus. Our, our administrators are, are on staff now. Um, and you can also email us at infosnaphelp at dentonisd.org if you're having issues with your SNAP code or haven't received one. Um, so let me talk first about connected learning. Um, you know, our goal the entire time is, has been to try to figure out how to have in-person instruction, face-to-face -face learning for as many students as possible, and we're still in that, in that group um, and really trying to work in that area. In order to make that happen, um, we really need for anyone who can if you can um, work to, to learn at home um, and we can help you with connectivity and devices, we'll talk about that. Um, please make sure you fill out the connected learning commitment form. This form is not a contract, but it is some commitments that you're making to learn at home. Um, we're here to help and understand getting the information about connected learning. And some of you have some questions about connected learning. So I wanna let you know that um, we've identified some courses that we consider hands-on meaning that you can learn, you can take, take uh, most of your coursework at home with connected learning, but there are certain things that might need to be taken at school. Um, and if you'll go to our website um, at dentonisd.org slash back to school, you'll see those hands-on courses there um, and see what those look like. Those hands-on courses are courses that really do need to have some face-to-face -face instruction. Um, we recognize that some of our parents and students wish to enroll in the CL program but you also want opportunities to engage in course experiences that are, that are typically face-to-face, -face, um, like ensemble practices, science labs, athletics and sports teams, um, working in the culinary arts kitchen or working through our welding programming. So we've expanded the course list for connected learning to include those courses that offer those hands-on experiences. Some of those are required in other words, some of those are required to be face-to-face, -face, and if you cannot participate in those um, that are required to be face-to-face, -face, then you may have to make a different, a different uh, course option. Um, and some of those are optional. So when reviewing the, the connected learning course list, look for courses with quote-unquote a hands-on symbol. It's a little hand, um, you'll see it, um, and learn more about how we're using notation for that. Now, here's the thing. If you participate in the face-to-face -face portion of the hands-on courses, for example, if you participate in um, a theater course during the school day that's face-to-face, -face, then that makes you eligible to participate in the extracurricular part that might happen after school. If you participate in a rehearsal or marching band or whatever we have going that is face-to-face, -face, then that makes you eligible to participate in the extracurriculars um, that happen after school. If you're in athletics and you take the athletics course that is part of your graduation plan, right? I mean, you have to have physical education um, credits for graduation, then that allows you to participate in those activities after school, making you eligible and allowing us to fall within the UL guidelines for participation. 
We want to make sure everyone knows that if you are truly a connected student, meaning you do not access anything at all face to face, then you are not eligible to participate in the extracurricular activities because you're not in a course that has an extracurricular activity attached to it. But if you actually participate in the course that would allow for that's necessary for participation in some of those things, then you will be able to participate. And if you'll check our website, um, you'll see where we've made that adjustment in listening to our families and working closely to the UIL. Our goal has always been face-to-face -face instruction, um, but our priority is also safety and learning in general. Um, we've had Jumpstart this week is an amazing opportunity for our students to get into some face-to-face -face learning, but you need to know that's been about six to eight students per classroom with a teacher and all of our safeguards in place. Um, and that's really been an amazing experience for over 900 elementary school students. Thank you for your, your grace, your patience, your flexibility. Um, I'm proud to be a part of Denton ISD. I'm proud of the work of all of our teachers, and I'm proud to represent um, you, our parents, um, to, to provide a great, outstanding education for our children. Thank you, and have a great weekend.